Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy D and I'm here with the 1.7.2 um, update for the MPC Ren and Studio and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own expansion packs the new way and also save um, space because I don't know if you're aware but when you make an expansion pack it actually makes a copy of the sounds that you already have and puts it in another folder so it makes two copies of it but I'm gonna show you basically a smart way to do it so you know you can save space but first also I'm gonna show you how to um, take an expansion pack like say um, the ghetto gospel sample pack that was um, originally done one way and make it put it into the other and make basically make it into the other the new way and um, you know and keep it in here but you know the old way files are someplace else the new way the files are someplace else so this is just basically to you know to put all the files in one you know in the same place instead of having the files all over the place all right so um, this is how I'm gonna do it um, first um, let's let's change let's get that ghetto gospel into the right into the new folder all right so I'm going to go down here I'm going to um I'm sorry I'm going to go to my drive I'm going to go to um applications and then I'm going to go to down here where it's um and you inside of go inside of utilities um I just skipped that part just go inside of utilities and then go into the expansion builder and then um so we're going to start from here. So we're going to be going to get, this is the file we're going to be go, um, going to get, um, library, application support, Akai, MPC, and I'm going to go into um, content because this is where the ghetto gospel sample pack is at. All right. So let's bring that there. And the identifier, I'm going to name it, um, P E A C E dot um, D O P S. Oh no, actually, I'm gonna name it my first name. D O N E L L. McDonald dot D L P E A C E dot pack. Let me just name it dot pack like that. And um the expansion the expansion title um is gonna be the ghetto gospel. I can't type for nothing, so you just gotta excuse me. Alright, so the ghetto gospel sample pack. Um manufacturer uh, who cares? I I put I'm put me. <laughs> no, version one. And I'm gonna just write the ghetto. I mean this is this is mine's anyways. I mean, well not mine, but when I, I had got sorry I typed so slow I just suck at it alright so and then I'm going to tell it it's asking me um, content in, and then I'm going I'm to just point it to where that is actually I didn't even have to bring that up but I'm going to bring I'm going to go here I'm going to go into um, not applications I'm going to go into my drive so let's back up a little bit. Sorry. Go into my drive. Applicate. Oops. Sorry. Library. Application support. I don't know why I got it right there. Application support. And then I'm going to um, Akai NPC. Um, 
content in I'm going to select the ghetto gospel and I'm going to hit open. Now, I'm going to also, to, to get that picture, because there is there's a picture, the picture is actually inside of the expansion right here. Um, so I'm going to go get that ghetto gospel picture. Here it is right here, the JPEG. And I'm going to just bring it over there. All right, so now it's in there and I'm going to hit do it. All right, I'm going to hit create anyway. Now it's asking me where I'm gonna put it on the desktop, and I'm gonna put it, you know, I put it as the ghetto gospel. just put it on the desktop so I know actually you know what I'm not gonna put it on the desktop I'm actually gonna put it in my external drive which is right here I'm gonna put it onto the external drive so I'm gonna save and that and this is how you're gonna save space basically any sound packs you have, you should already have it backed up anyway. Um, hit OK right here, and then you, I can close this out. And I can actually, I can close, I can close this out as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I'm going to delete this Ghetto Gospel file here, Ghetto Gospel, this, the JPEG, the XML, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and delete I'm gonna just go ahead and delete these two right here. Um I send it to you know send the trash. And then I'm gonna go back I'm gonna I'm gonna back up and go into content. I'm gonna go into content and delete the ghetto gospel sample pack from here. Because they they should already be backed up somewhere, but this is just how to convert the ones that you already have back into, you know, into into um, your NPC and still have and basically still have. Um, and as you can see, when I restart, this is going to be gone, and still have it in the NPC, but just have it in a new place. Now, um, as you can see, the ghetto the ghetto gospel is gone, and now we're gonna bring it back in. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to where I put it. I put it in my drive, and it that's where it makes the x um, the XPN file. And I'm gonna just drag that right to, you know, right to there, telling me that it's gonna put it in there. Hit import. So now import it. So now I imported the ghetto gospel back into here and let me see it should be at the bottom yep see it right there ghetto gospel sound pack when you open it up it's gonna have everything that it had before the same programs the drum packs um, just basically everything and you can load that up just double click it it's just gonna load everything up in here and you know like I said and this is just to can just to take the ones that were in all the other folders it was in two different folders before now it's just you know one file makes it a lot easier and you know like i said it isn't gonna all right so and, and that's how you're gonna take your old ones and put it the new way now say you this is where i was having a problem at um late last night and you know, thanks to um, Torin, Torin, um, Torin Wilson, Torin Wilson, um, you know, he had to kick me in my butt a little bit to set me in my place because I don't know everything. But I was, I couldn't find out how to delete because it it didn't put it back in the same spot that you know that it what that it used to. So the way to delete a sound pack, the new way is to actually go into your your um your hard drive and then go into um you know your name 
go into your name, and then you'll see library right here. Now, what what I didn't know at one time was that it was hidden. So I had to go to show view options, and then I had to click on um, show um, show library folder. For some reason, that wasn't checked, so that folder was hidden from me. So I I could not find that library folder. The library folder I kept finding was um, this one here, the library folder in in applications right here. This is the only one I could find. Then application support, but you know, there's it, once you click, once you go into your under your name rate right, under your name or whatever you have it you should have it your username right here after you go in there there's going to be a library here you know it, like i said it might be hidden you got to unhide it tell it to show it so then you know go into library and then go into um, application support here and then you're going to see a kai and then mpc and then mc expansions and that's where it's going to be at um dlp donnell dlp's pack you know, it, it's the it's the ghetto gospel. See, when I go in here, it's a ghetto gospel, and 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 that's how you delete it. So, if it basically, if I were to delete, to delete this, it would delete it from the MPC software, and that's how you delete the old, you know, the old way. I mean, the new way. I'm sorry. Um, now. So, so what I'm the other thing that I'm trying to that I'm trying to um, that I'm going to explain to you is that this. All right, so say you got your sound packs. Like this is a sound pack right here that I have, um, and it's on my drive. Now, if if it's in, it's it's on my external drive. So basically, what you want to do is you want to install your sound packs from off your external drive so it doesn't copy it twice because if I go get a sound pack from off my computer drive a drive that's in the computer already it's just going to make another it's just going to make a copy of that and put it inside of that MPC expansion folder when I make that kit so like I said what you want to do is and, and if you want let me I can do it real quick um, so say so say I want to make that I want to make that expansion that new expansion pack, all right, this that DLPs one. What I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna go I'm gonna go locate where the where the DLPs um is at. So I know it's in my external drive. It's called Untitled, and it's it's DLPs right here. So this is where that content is at. So if I go in here, there's all the sounds and everything right there. But what I'm gonna do, what I what I what I want to do is I want to drag the sounds because I actually actually before I do that, let me make a new project because that was the old one. I want to I want to drag the sounds into. I want to go ahead and make that program file before I even bring it in. So it's basically you know putting all the sounds in a program, building me a program. All right, so that's the program, and this program one I'm called DLPs. All right, so so that's the that's the program, and I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna hit save program. Save. I'm gonna hit save. You hit just hit save current program or save all programs. I hit save current program, and then it's gonna ask me where do I where would I like to put it. Um, once again, I'm gonna point it to, I'm gonna point it to my ex external drive, and I'm gonna put it inside the DLPs folder. I'm gonna put it right there. Save. All right. So now it made that, it made that program for me. Now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go to the the drive applications and I'm gonna go to um, you know you go to utilities then you go down to the um, NPC expansion builder and we're gonna so now I'm gonna build that that kit that I had and I'm gonna name this the 
go P E A C E that um I'm gonna call it V E S S dot kit. Cause that's the that's the kit that I that's like one of the kits that I go to all the time. So and I'm gonna call it DLPs. Um, manufacturer DLPs. Uh, I can just keep everything. That's how I had it. Version one. My kit. All right. I just named it my kit. Now I'm gonna go get that picture. The picture that I have for it. The picture that I have for it is actually right there. So I'm gonna just. It's a picture of me. Just drag that over there. So there. That's in there. And it's gonna now it's asking me where the you where's that file at? So I'm just go to the file. Once again, it's on my external. That's the content for it right there. I hit open. Now it's gonna say do it. Now I'm gonna do it. Now it says, um, please read the following. There's no demo. All right, hit create. Now this is it's asking me where I want to put it. I'm gonna save it as DLPs. And I'm gonna save that also to my um, I'm gonna save that to my external as well. I'm gonna save that right into my external and hit save. All right, so that's done. I can close that out. Now I'm gonna go to my external. My external is right here. Here goes the new XPN. The XPN. I'm gonna just drag it over. I'm going to import it, hit do it, I mean import. So now, inside of, it's going to take us, now inside of here, DLPs, there it is. And inside of there is going to be my programs and my samples. So if I go to my programs, double click programs, I'll just replace it, replace it. Then it's going to add what I, what I had in there. And that's how you, how you, um, you know, do it from your external. Um, I hope this helps. I'm sorry it was so long, but it was a lot of stuff. I didn't want to do it in multiple parts, but it's your boy D. Please rate, subscribe. If you have a question, just let me know. Thanks, everybody, for helping me figure this out. Peace.